I'm Dr. Hemi Wan. I'm a chief scientist of Big Bear Solar Observatory. And I uh, got my PhD from California Institute of Technology. Caltech decided to find a partner to operate this place, so NGIT was chosen. I moved to New Jersey in 95 and become a faculty member in New Jersey. The solar physics research and education program at NGIT is regarded as number one in the U.S., probably number one in the whole world. It's far away, it's a long commute, but it's a unique facility. It is the biggest solar telescope in the world. Its diameter is 1.6 meter. It's in a lake area, it doesn't have much pollution, the weather is good, and there's a forest. But there is some invisible beauty that we don't see, which is so-called observing condition. The astronomers give a term called a seeing. It's a way to evaluate how small the turbulence is above us. So the Big Bear has a very minimal turbulence. So that's why we can see the sun very clearly. Space weather, it's the effect of the solar eruption on the Earth that affect our daily life. We do both uh, pure science to understand the physics of the solar activity, and uh, then we apply our knowledge to predict space weather. Every day we forecast what is the probability that a solar flare is produced. Sometimes I call the solar flare as a kind of earthquake on the sun. The sun it has magnetic fields. The magnetic fields could have positive or negative polarities. But if you try to shift the, the two foot point of that magnet, it's like an earthquake you're going to build a magnetic stress, that's a magnetic energy. Just like the earthquake, you cannot stretch that forever. At a certain critical point, the magnetic energy is released, that is the solar flare. The most serious problem is the solar flares can produce another eruption we don't see. It's a regular observation, it's called a corona mass ejection. It's going to produce a huge amount of mass. Part of that is moving to the Earth, and some of that mass will also carry magnetic fields with it. So when magnetic fields interacts with the Earth's magnetic field, it creates a strong current. So that can do all kinds of damages. It can affect the safety of astronauts, it can interrupt the telecommunication. It can destroy the transformers for the power supply. It could even affect transportation of oil. We know the solar flare, but nobody ever know uh, the fine details of the solar flares. Uh, our team, in some recent paper, including the One Nature Communication papers you read, we really, it's the first time we look at at uh, the uh, structure of the solar flare in such a detail to understand the magnetic topology of it. As we get more and more uh, sophisticated observation, we can see uh, more details of the sun to understand the structure of it. You can look at, at the detail of the surface of the sun. You cannot look at the uh, surface of uh, any particular star. The star is just uh, one single point. And here you can look at a very much the detail. 